we celebrate uh, the choir here? Amen. God bless you. You may take your position. You may be seated, please. Um, I don't know. Naongea Kiswahili, naongea Kiingereza, sijui maana nasikia kuna wa Tanzania hapa. Kwa hivyo ninachanganya. Okay. Um, niseme na mshukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya neema na ya mwaliko huu kwa sababu ya baba aliyenipatia nafasi ya kuja hapa kunialika kuja kuwa mnenaji kwa kongamano hili i really thank god na mshukuru mungu saidi and i want also to thank all the members of the committee of this conference na nashukuru pia wanakamati wa kongamano hili to allow me to become one of the speakers kuniruhusu kuwa kati ya wanenaji i feel humbled in my spirit na hisi nimeheshimika ndani ya roho yangu my name is james chigodi i like to be called most of the time pastor james uh, mara nyingi napenda kuitwa mchungaji yakobo ama james because uh, there are people who are running for titles and they don't deliver according to the titles kwa sababu kuna watu wanakimbilia uh, fieo lakini ama majina lakini hawawezi kunena kulingana na majina yenye yamepewa there is only one title and that i enjoy to have it that is the name of jesus na kuna tu jina moja ambalo mimi napenda kulifurahia na ni jina la Yesu. I'm married. Nimeoa. One wife and my wife is a woman. Mke, mke mmoja na mke wangu ni wa kike. And we have three children. Na tunahubiri. We have three children. Ah, tuna watoto watatu samahani. We've been staying for 10 years in marriage without a child tulikuwa tunaketi miaka kumi bila mtoto we did not understand what was going on hatukufahamu ni nini kinaendelea but one day i had a vision lakini siku moja nikawa na chozi and uh, my eyes were opened na macho yangu yakafunguka and uh, i began getting into business of spiritual warfare na nikaingilia biashara za vita za kiroho until the lord gave me my first born who is called israel niliposa mungu akanipa mtoto wa kufungua uh, mimba wa kwanza ambaye anaitwa israeli and then i got a girl called maria nikapata wa kike ambaye anaitwa maria and i got a boy who is called El Melek. Na nikapata kijana mwingine ambaye anaitwa El Melek. And the womb stopped. <laughs> na kuzaa kukakoma. I wanted to have at least 12 sons or 12 children. That what I wanted. I was actually praying for triplets, triplets. Nilitaka ni kuwe na wana kama 10 na wawili haswa vijana na nikuwe nao mapacha watatu watatu but uh, I thank God for the three lakini nashukuru Mungu kwa hao watatu I stay at Kilifi ninakaa kule Kilifi we have a church at Kilifi tuna kanisa Kilifi and I'm preaching Jesus there na nahubiri Yesu kule and I have dominated na mimi ninatawala kule I'm reigning with Christ Jesus in this life Ninatawala na Bwana Yesu katika maisha haya By God's grace I have written some books but unfortunately they were not ready the publisher delayed to publish them Kwa neema ya Mungu nimeandika vitabu kadhaa lakini uh, mwenye ananishughulikia alinichelewesha hakuchapa chapa, chapa uh, 
My first book is called Your Dream Can Come True. Kitabu changu cha kwanza kinaitwa Ndoto yako itatimika ama itatimia. When I had my standard 7 in 1979, nilipokuwa darasa la 7 uh, mwaka wa 79, I couldn't go to secondary school. There was no finances. Sikuwa na hela za kunipeleka shule ya upili. I had a dream and the devil said it is not going to come true. Nilikuwa na ndoto na shetani akasema haitatimika. Then 83 I began I opened a church 1983. Na mwaka wa 83 nikafungua kanisa. I was still a young boy. Kijana, baru baru. And people told me that you cannot lead a church if you're not married. Watu hawezi kuwa na kanisa na haujaoa. They asked me how are you going to handle the issues of, of marriage. Wakaniuliza nje utafanya vipi kwa watu wenye wako ndo, kwa ndo. And I said the Bible is full of the teachings about marital people. I will talk about what the Bible says. Nami nikasema nitanena file Mambo yenye inaongea, ndoa. So I had a burden in my heart that I'm going to write books. Sasa na, uh, kusingizia ama uzito wa I was learning to become a euro doctor. Nilikuwa na kimbilia kukua daktari. That was my dream. Ilikuwa ndoto yangu. I said if that fails then I will become a judge or a lawyer. Na nikasema kama ye haita timika nitakuwa hakimu. And I said if that is not going to happen then I'm going to be in the Air Force. Na nikasema kama pia ye haita timika nitakuwa mwana jeshi wa hewa. But the Lord put me into this business as a judge against demons. Na munga kaniweka hakimu wa mapepo. So my second book is about Guideline to praise and worship. My third book is about the power of the cross. My fourth book is about the God kind of faith. And the fifth book is about the anointing. My sixth book is about building on Christ, the rock. My seventh book, born for a special assignment. My eighth book, discover your identity in Christ. Chanane, tambua, Wasili wako ndani ya Kristo. My ninth book, Key to Prosperity. Chatisa funguo la ufanisi. Tenth book, Honoring Fathers. Chakumi kuheshimu mababa. Eleventh, which is about to come forth also, Supernatural Living. Chakumi na moja ambacho pia kiko njiani ni kuishi maisha Ya kiungu, ama kitaua. And twelfth, which is about they will come together with a supernatural living, it is marriage vow. Na cha kuminambili ambacho kina kuja pia na kuishi maisha ya utaua ni maisha ya ndoa. Ama kuheshimu. And I'm writing another one <laughs> about, uh, about walking in divine favor. Ambacho ni kutembea katika Praise the Lord. You are blessed. I say you are blessed. I say you are blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may not know that you are blessed, but you are blessed. Because you are surrounded by things that they don't give you the real picture of who you are. But I'm telling you by power and by force, you are blessed. Pengine umesunguka na mambo yenye haiwezi kukupa fursa ya kujua wewe umebarikiwa. Lakini na kutangazia ya kwamba wewe umebarikiwa. You are blessed. Let's pray. Heavenly Father. 
baba wa mbinguni come down jo hapa chini use me as a vessel nitumie kama chombo to bless somebody kubariki mtu that your glory shall shine today ili utukufu wako ukangae leo may you speak to somebody's life Hebu sungumza na maisha ya mtu. Change somebody's life now. Badilisha maisha ya mtu sasa. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Let your power flow like a mighty river. Wacha nguvu zako zikatiririke kama mto mkuu. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Father we thank you. Baba tunakushukuru. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Amina. Born for greatness. That is my message. Umezaliwa kwa ukuu you are born for greatness umezaliwa kukuwa mkuu come on tell your neighbor you are born for greatness ambia jirani yako umezaliwa kuwa mkuu uh, if that neighbor do not want to talk to you you can move to another neighbor please don't stay with a neighbor who cannot talk to you kama jirani yako hakuangeleshi unaweza songa kwa mwingine mwenye ana you are born for greatness umezaliwa kuwa mkuu hallelujah Hallelujah. We're not talking about being born in that family of Kikuyu family or Meru family or Druma family. We are talking about being born into the family of God. Into the family of faith. You are born for greatness. When you realize that, then your attitude will change. And you will develop an attitude of conquering anything that comes on your way. Anything that comes to you uh, anything that comes against you kila kitu ambacho kinakuja kinyume chako it comes just to uplift you and to uh, to make you be exposed who you really are hakiji tu ili kitambue wewe ni nani na chenye unacho no it comes to expose your really identity inakuja kuelezea wewe umeumbwa when goliath came against david wakati goliath alikuja kwa daudi others saw a giant watu wengine waliona kitu kubwa david saw an opportunity daudi akaona ni fursa are you getting me Let's go to the book of first first John chapter 5. Twende katika Yohana wa kwanza sura ya 5. In verse 4. Mstari wa 4. The Bible says, Biblia yasema, For whatever is born of God, kwa maana kila kitu kilichozaliwa na Mungu, overcometh the world. Hushinda ulimwengu. And this is the victory that overcometh the world. Na huku ndiko kushinda kushindako ulimwengu. Even our faith. Hiyo imani yetu. Say amen. Sema amina. Somebody say amen. Sema amina. Now listen unto me. Nisikize sasa. I want us to agree something here. Nataka tukubaliane kitu hapa. Whenever I say say amen. Nikisema sema amina. I mean you, not your neighbor. Ninasema wewe ninamaanisha wewe sio jirani yako. So you must respond to me. Sasa ni lazima uini. And if you are not going to respond, na kama hautaitikia. Please you walk up and sit at the back there. Hebu <laughs> tembea tu vizuri ukaketi kule. Because you are becoming a suspect in the house of God. Kwa sababu wewe tutakushuku katika nyumba ya Mungu. So say amen. Sasa sema amina. I'm looking your mouth and some of you you are saying amen while your mouth is not open. I don't know how you are talking that. Na kuanga na tazama kinywa chako na wengine hatuongei We don't need a suspect here. Hatutaki mtu wa kushukia. If this was a football match. Kama hii ilikuwa ni mpira wa kandanda. And I score. Na mimi nipike. Everyone here would be excited. Kila mmoja wetu hapa angekuwa amefurahi. Even those who are dumb they would do something to show that they are celebrating the match hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord everybody say amen kila mtu sema amina and when you come to kilifi you have to be louder than that otherwise you are going to be a suspect na ukija kilifi ni lazima ukue zaidi ya hiyo kwa sababu watu watakushuku hallelujah hallelujah the bible says biblia yasema for what 
believer is born of God. Anyone who has been born in God. He overcome the systems of the world. And the Bible says. And uh, 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 the, the one who is controlling this uh, uh, instrument. Please I need a little bit uh, loud voice here. My voice is a little bit hoarse. I've been having some Kwa infection. Yeah, to the monitors. Okay. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Some of you are not saying amen. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, Biblia inasema, whoever is born in the family of God, he overcomes the system of the world. And the Bible says, and this is the evidence that we overcome the world because we have the faith that was in him who saved us. Kwa sababu tuna imani ndani ya yule mwenye alituokoa. The this faith we have ile imani tunayo it is the faith of God ni imani ya Mungu. Are you listening unto me? Je, unanisikiza? That is the main key you need to understand. Hiyo ndio kiini chenye unapata. Once you yeah. get saved there is a seed of faith which is planted in you. It may be small as a mustard seed. But if it is given the good environment to grow, that same faith will become a supernatural faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will not overcome the devil by identifying yourself as a lamp always. Jesus became a lamp but he did not end up as a lamb. He ended up as a lion of the tribe of Judah. Do you know why the devil is troubling people today? He began as a serpent. And when he was given good environment, he became a dragon. He has become a dragon now. With the several heads. The way if you, you allow the word of God or the faith of God in you to grow that faith it is the one which giveth you victory. Victory over the flesh. Victory over the devil. Victory over circumstances. Victory over everything. You are born to overcome. Somebody shout amen. Come on, say, I am born to overcome. Say, I am born to conquer. Praise the Lord. Let me show you something, friends. In the book of Hebrews, the book of Hebrews, we all know it describes about faith, the book of Hebrews 11. It says like this. Now faith is a substance of things up for the evidence of things not seen. Now the Swahili Bible and the English Bible, they differ. Tafsiri ya Kiswahili ni ya Kingereza ni tofauti. Bwana sifiwe. Amina. Because the Swahili, the English Bible says faith is a substance. Substance 
Twaelewana ama hawa tuelewane. Najua mimi sijui kuongea Kiswahili yenu ya Nairobi. Mimi yangu ni ya kule Mwambao wa Pwani. Kiswahili ambacho kiko anointed. Sema amen. Hallelujah. Biblia inasema imani ni kitu substance ambayo inadhihirisha hiki kitu kwamba wewe ni halisi una kitu wacha niongee Kiswahili naona tunakutana tutaenda pome wacha niongee Kiswahili wacha niongee Kiswahili sema amen sema fire a a husemi poa sema fire inasema imani ni kitu halisi a substance ni kitu of things of the four ya vitu vitarajiwavyo lakini hii imani yenyewe ni kitu hapo ndio kwanza hapo alafu anasema things of the four to become an evidence hata ukipelekwa mahakamani kukosekana evidence kesi yako kwisha tunaelewana hapo sasa Biblia imetuambia tunashinda na ni hiyo imani yetu. Na hiyo imani inaambiwa ni kitu halisi. So imani yoyote mtu yeyote asemaye anaamini Mungu kwa kitu fulani anachotarajia. Na hana kitu cha kiroho cha kusababisha kile kije, hiyo imani si imani. In the way ama niongee kwa Kiingereza namna hii If your faith does not produce the substance you are believing for to cause any evidence that I have faith then your faith is in vain. Sema amen. Hakuna mtu katikati yetu hapa. Hata kama wewe ulizaliwa ukatupwa huko. Ukaokotwa na kina songo. Ukapelekwa kwa nyumba za mayatima wasiojulikana ukalelewa ukabahatika ukamjua Yesu ukaja nyumbani kwa kule kumjua Yesu peke yake ni kusajiliwa kutoka katika mambo yale ambayo shetani alikuwa amekuratibisha kwamba wewe ni chokora kwamba wewe huna baba kwamba wewe hauna faida ukaingia katika nyumba ya watu wa imani Okaanza kufundishwa habari za imani. Okamjua mwana wa Mungu hapo kitu kinatendeka ndani mwako. Ule ukuu wa Mungu inakaa ndani mwako. Ndani yako kuna kaa ukuu wa Mungu. Mtu aseme amen. Sema naamini. Haleluya. Nataka kuonyesha maana mimi mandeti yangu ni empowerment. Njoo kwa conference zetu na conference ya vijana mwezi wa nne na conference ya maombi mwezi wa nane gatekeepers conference tunaita gatekeepers summit na conference ya wamama mwezi wa kumi hivi inaendelea huko ndio maana narudi tena kwenda malizia huko nilianza jumapili nikampisha dolphin naila anaendelea huko narudi huko nikamalizie kwa hivyo hapa mkinyima amina nenda sipewa nyingi huko Sema amen. Haleluya. Wewe ni jitu ndani yako. Nimekuja niliamsha lile jitu linalolala ndani yako. Limekaa ndani yako. Na unazuiwa zuiwa tu. Wewe. Imani bwana ni kitu kingine. Imani bwana. Achana na shetani uniletea mchezo kwa hii imani na mimi humuonyesha vitu. Bwana sifiwe. Mwaka jana shetani alimpiga na diabetes. Mimi sikuwa jua najua diabetes ya umaje. Nikinywa chai hivi natukwa ni jasho. Ai. Jasho chingi na legea viungo. Sema huu ugonjwa ambao hautaki nile ni ugonjwa gani jamii? Ugonjwa huu mbona uko fanya? So siku moja nikawa hata naenda mazishini. So asubuhi hiyo nikarauka nikaenda shamba nikarudi. Mwambia mama nikirudi nipate chai iko tayari kaja nikaoga nikavaa nikanywa chai kutoka hapo jasho viungo vikalegea nikashindwa kabisa macho yamepungagiza ni ugonjwa gani huu usiotaka nini mm. kaenda kwa njiri 
kumsajiri daktari wetu hapa nyumbani. Kaenda akamwambia huyu na ugonjwa fani hapa. Kamuelezea akaniambia ah umri wa miaka mingapi? Nambia mimi naingia 60 sasa. Bwana zipi? Nimelindwa lindwa na mie. Unaona vile naka? Eh, nimelindwa lindwa tu nimepushwa pushwa na vitu tu. Akaniambia madam upima diabetes. Ah. Anambia sasa wewe ni uanze tayari diet. Eh, hey, kwa sababu na diabetes. Ndio dawa hiyo. Nasema ah hiyo itakusaidia. Hapa nitakupatia dawa lakini chengine kila asubuhi. Unafanya jogging. Unafanyaje jogging? Ya nini? Unakimbia kimbia pasi. Namuliza, nakimbiza diabetes ama nakimbizwa diabetes? Nakimbia kimbia na wa program na diabetes. Nikamwambia hata dawa sitaki. Narudi. Karudi tu arudi. Kamwambia mama nimeonekana diabetes. Mama kashtuka sana. Kaniambia basi tuanza diet. Kaniambia kwa ajili ya diabetes. Kwa hivyo natugeuzia program hapa nyumbani. Hiyo inakuwa must. Kamwambia skip. Ilingia bila diet inaenda bila diet. Ilingia bila jogging inaenda bila jogging. Kule kuhubiri kote kule sinjiri tu aje anione. Free services na hubiri peke yangu. Sasa diabetes imemaliza nguvu hata hiyo ibada moja siwezi kumaliza. Sihudumi watu nikimaliza nini ondoke na sikia kufu. Ai, nikasema hapana. Kamwambia mama iliingia bila diet yaenda bila diet. Iliingia bila jogging yaenda bila jogging. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nikamwambia naenda jifungia siku tatu. Najua sasa na mwaka mzima siwezi nikafunga. Nikifunga nikifika sanne mimi niwe na glucose ama na peremende maana naishiwa ni nguvu. Sijajua ugonjwa ni nini. Nikamwambia sasa naenda funga dry bila maji, bila chakula, bila peremende, bila glucose. Naenda jifungia kwa ile room kule mahali. Siku ya tatu ya ine ya subuhi kama sijatoka. Mujue diabetes imeniweza ni nimeenda. Muje mvunje mlango. Ilingia bila jogging, itaenda bila jogging. <laughs> Nye namna gani. Kila aliezaliwa na mungu. <laughs> na ishindayo. Si diet hiyo imani yetu hiyo ndio ushindayo si jogging nitafanya jogging kwa raha zangu si kuwa programmed na diabetes nikaenda nikaingia kwa room nikaambia uliingia bila hodi utatoka bila hodi huku bisha ulipoingia maana ningejua ni wewe na bisha ningekufungia mlango ungeingia Ulivyo ingia ndivyo taenda na usiniambie bye bye maana huku sema hodi Ufika sanne kile kituko kikaanza nguvu zinanishia nikasema wafao hufa wa kilala mimi sitalala wafao hufa wa kifunga macho sifungi macho nikajiweka kwenye kona ya ukuta hivi nikasema unaenda hapa hapa hukai hawezi ndani mwangu kuwe na Yesu ndani mwangu kuwe na, na diabetes haikubaliki hii he ni illegal ni transpass ume transpass hapa illegal stay na ulipi unanifanya mimi nilipe gharama kwa kukanda ni mwangu wakaje kwa nyumba ambayo huyo landlord ndiye anaikulipia kuku maintain humo ndani nikamwambia wewe umujinga sana hapa hukai unatoka nikashinda nikakesha Ni mimi na Biblia hata siwezi kuisoma maana macho yamefungagiza. Nasema unaenda tu. Siku ya pili, siku ya tatu ndio ilikuwa kifo kimekuja. Nikaomba pale mahali. Nasema hii inaenda. Inaenda. All of the sudden nikasikia kama upepo umeingia ndani ya nyumba. Nimejizuilia mahali. 
Nasema siombi kwa kufunga macho asija kanisima kabisa siombi kwa kulala asija kanisima kabisa ni mimi na yeye na hapa anaenda ukai kwa mwili wangu unaenda utake usitake unaenda haleluya nikasikia kumeingia joto kama oven pale ndani nasema liwe liwalo kwenda unaenda tu hapa na all of the sudden nikaona shadow imentoka a shadow ikanitoka pap na kukaingia ubaridi na ikaingia nguvu nikasema umenda umenda hukaya nikamaliza siku zangu tatu dry nikaenda zangu nyumbani nikamwambia mama nipikie uji tia sukari lete kila kitu cha tamu tamu hapa nile niende kwa njiri nikapime nikala kila kitu cha sukari nikaenda kwa daktari njiri nikamwambia pima akapima kaniambia haumna uko timamu kabisa nimwambia ulikuwa una nipatia program ya asubuhi pasta mimi najulikana hapa za asubuhi ni <laughs> nafukuzwa nafukuza wewe niache wewe haleluya iko nguvu ndani mwako ambayo shetani anaijua na hii ndio maana wengine wetu tulizaliwa mahali ambapo shetani alitaka kuua hatima yetu lakini ndani yako iko nguvu maana hakuzaliwa ufe kabla ya majira yako wewe ulizaliwa ushinde wewe ulizaliwa umiliki wewe ulizaliwa ushinde wewe ni mushindi bwana yesu asifiwe Imani isioleta vile vitu tutakavyo si imani Imani Bwana Yesu asifiwe Mikutano yangu yote napoenda na kuwafundisha watu Na muomba Mungu afanye vile ufanya kwa mikutano yangu Kunakuwa na healing supernatural healing Deliverances Mashetani wananijua. Mashetani wamenimaki. Kwa sababu sikubaliana chochote cha kishetani. Mtu aseme amen. Kwa nini? Wewe ni mushindi. Maana ulizaliwa katika roho wa Mungu. Angalia kitabu cha Yakobo anasemaje. Yakobo anaongea maneno haya katika kitabu cha Yakobo moja na sura ya mstari wa 18 Anasema of his own will begat he us with the word of truth that we should be the kind of first fruit of in this uh, generation Kwa hiari yake kwa mapenzi yake Mtu huyu Mungu ambaye hufanya kazi kwa maamuzi ya ushauri wa nia yake haongali hakai na watu ambao wangeweza kumwambia ushauri ambao pengine ni hakupendelei lakini akakakuchagua akasema ni kuzae kwa neno lake la milele neno ambalo haliharibiki akakuzaa kwa mapenzi yake akakufanya kwa wake hii roho iliyokuzaa ndio roho inapaswa ikutawale na hiyo ndiyo roho uleta uzima ndani mwako biblia inasema ndani yake kuna uzima ndani yake kuna uzima Sikia ni kwambie una kansa ya titi kadri na viongea ukinua imani yako inanyauka Sikia ni kwambie ah ilikuwa kwa kongamano moja na shetani alikuwa anataka kuzuia vitu pale na Mungu akanitokelezea sitasahau siku hiyo nilikuwa na ubiri ibada ya katikati ya ya wiki maana nilikuwa sitakaa paka Jumamosi alafu niondoke So nikawa na ubiri ibada ya mchana kama ya leo. And uh, as I was speaking, then I saw two angels entering into the into the into the building. Akasimama kona kule 
na mmoja akasimama kona kule nikasikia utukufu wa Mungu umeshuka nguvu za Mungu zikaanza kutembea hata nilikuwa sijafanya otako nguvu za Mungu zikaanza kutembea zika distort whatever I was doing and then i dropped down ikashuka chini nianze kuhudumia watu maana hasa hata uweze kufanya otako kuna kuko chaos then i realized the power was so much Yes, I could not lay hands. I was just passing by in between and people were falling. So they fell down. They were filled with the Holy Ghost. The demons were coming out of the people. People were getting healed. And then, I was crying. I was crying. Everybody is crying before the Lord. My time is up. I need to go. Sasa niko ofisini, niko kule tunangojea. Sasa ndio akaja asha mmoja, akaja niona niko peke yake ndio akaenda kumwamsha pasta. That thing was so powerful ilikuwa kitui. Very powerful. Ilikuwa na waonyesha kwamba hili neno kama halifanyi kazi, tupaswa twende tukafanye kazi mahali ambapo tunaona matokeo yake. Neno la Mungu ni nguvu, si hekaya, si story, si theology tu ya kuwa unaelezea bombastic ya maneno ya ya, ya Greek na Kihebrew. Ah ah. Ongea Hebrew yako lakini tunataka nguvu. Ongea Greek yako tunataka tuone the demonstration of the power of the almighty God. Hallelujah. James and Asema out of his own will he gave us birth kwa hiari yake akakuchagua wewe wale wengine wote ni walevi walikunywa paka macho yanapofuka anasema hata mkizima hata bado mimi nitaendelea tu kumbe ni yake macho yanapofuka yeye anaona ni tazi na simu wa simu wewe ukapatikana haleluya ndani yako iko nguvu na mimi nimekuja kuambia hii nguvu unaweza kupossess anything you like in this life by that power. Second Peter chapter chapter 1. We are second Peter hapo chapter 1. In verse 3. In verse 3. Anasema uweza wake wa kiungo umetukirimia vitu vyote vitu pasavyo uzima. Si vitu vichache baba. Unanisikia binti yangu? Na kuliza unanisikia? Anasema his divine power has given us not will give us. Sheka la bayanta la bayanta la bayanta. Si kwamba tutapokea Sema nimepokea. Ongea kama jasiri nimepokea. And I say according to his divine power hath given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him who hath called us unto glory and virtue. Uweza wake wa kiungu. Umetukirimia vitu vyote vitu pasavyo uzima na utaua vinafikaje kwa akaunti yako vilishakuwa deposited kwa akaunti yako lakini vinakuwa transferred kivipi paka kukufikia kwa kumjua yeye aliyetuita personal relationship intimacy with him mm. hii ndio inanifanya kule kilifi ninamiliki na Yesu mimi standard 7 Tumeweka msingi brada kitala na ujua na mke wake wajikanisha Nilisikia statement ya marehemu Osborne akisema attempt great things and expect great results Kama unataka imani yako ikue usifanye vitu vile unafanya kila siku Lenga vitu ambavyo hujavifanya 
kutoa kwako kila Jumapili pandisha kiwango amina yako kanisani pandisha kiwango siku kaa kingwana kingwana kila siku na unatarajia matokeo tofauti kama wataka matokeo tofauti fanya vitu kwa mpigo tofauti mtu aseme amen bwana yesu asifiwe mstari unaofuatia whereby i given unto us great and exceedingly precious promises that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature of the divine character of divine virtue of the divine power of the divine glory by these promises tuna kwa washirika wa tabia ya kiungu sema amen Sema amina ya mtu aliyeshiba amen. Unakuwa mshirika wa tabia ya kiungu. Hata kule nje si ukija kanisani umevaa vizuri kwa maana umekuja kanisani ukienda ofisini kanguo kamekuwa kafupi nikambai watoka night club unakuwa na tabia ya kiungu. Mtu amshangilie Bwana jameni. Amen. Anasema ameshapeana hivi. Imani hii ni imani ya kushinda. Imani hii si imani haishindwi. Nikasikia mhubiri mmoja na ubiri anasema, "Wewe utamwambiaje yule mtu ambaye mambo yameshindikana kwake, nitamwambia arudi kwa misingi." Kama yameshindikana, arudi kwa misingi. Maana tunajua with God nothing shall be impossible. If it has been impossible with you, then you come to God. For with God nothing shall be impossible. Even as I speak now, Dr. Yanesa alikwambia, haiwezekani kwa wanadamu haiwezekani kwa Jehova hii yawezekana ukapata hata ile pesa, ile gari, ile nyumba ukapata na vidonda vya tumbo sikujua pia vya umaji mimi nilikuwa nafikiria ni pilipili nimekula napenda kula pilipili sana so nikafikiria hiyo ndio imekuwa nyingi ni accumulate kule tumboni nikaenda kwa njiri akaniambia ni vidonda vya tumbo nikamuuliza vya sababishwa na nini uwe na vidonda nje uwe na vidonda tumboni hii mashaka haya duniani haya mbone maonevu haya akanielezea story nyingi njiri tukiingia pale kwake pengine hata watu kuazika maana tuweza kukaa masaa kuongea baada mshua ananitishia chai hapo hospitali hata ananitishia chai tunakunywa tuongea akaniandikia mrundo wa madawa nikaenda nikanywa siku ya kwanza ya pili nikasema ah sikia sikia Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ziko sheria mbili ambazo lazima ugundue zinatawala dunia hii. Natural law and super natural law. Kama unataka kuchochea ile greatness nitakuonyesha tu dakika kidogo alafu tumalize. Nirudi kwetu kilifi. Nikale wale samaki wa mikias minane mitano wasio na mifupa samaki wa ajabu ajabu na mke wangu najua ni mdigo na wapwa ni wote mwanamke wa kidigo anaogopewa kwa sababu yuko very expensive ni kama mjaluo kununua Mercedes Benz huyo ndiye ngeoa ambaye wale wa umezenu wanaokuja huko wanaambiwa ukija ni rahisi lakini kutoka ni chapati zinazopikwa ni wanawake wa kidigo ukilamba hivi ah hurudi kwenu kikuyuni <laughs> haleluya nasema haleluya nilifanya kumwombea nikamwambia bwana nipe mdigo kabisa nataka mwanamke wa kinilisikia sifa tu ngasema si uokoe mmoja tu bwana nimpatemie bwana we 
Bana wale na wahubiria wanaitukana hao hata kuokoa. Nikamwambia bwana tam tam moja akatafuta akapata. Nikaenda kwa lai nikaona iko pale kwa kwaya wanaimba. Ah, kaangalia wote nikasema yule mwenye miguu kama ya kulungu huyo nitaenda naye. <laughs> na mimi kajifanya rafiki rafiki hapo siku moja nikamwambia nimealikwa alikwa tu nikaenda kihubiri huko. Nikamwambia sasa nina ushauri nataka kukushauri mimi. Sema ni sawa pastor kamambia lakini nataka tuende huko ufuo za bahari Yesu alikuwa huongea maneno na thamani huko kwa ufuo wa bahari akasema ni sawa kaenda bwana akifika kule anatarajia neno kutoka juu kumbe neno kutoka hapa nikamwambia aise umenipamba mbaya na sasa <laughs> nakwambia tu ningetaka uwe mama ya watoto wangu ikiwa unaona ni sawa ukubali kama huoni ni sawa pia nakupa muda tu wa wiki mbili unijibu nimemaliza twende wote maana hatakuwa na agenda nyingine hapo alichanganyikiwa kabisa nikamwambia two weeks are enough maana nakumbuka mwingine alinifanyia jeuri kule nakuru alini huyo alinikwaza karibu ni mlani kwa jina la bwana sikio ningekufa Sikio ningekufa. Nitoke Shimba Hills mpaka Nakuru ndio mara yangu ya kwanza kufika Nakuru. Nimeumba Bwana na nilimwambia nitaenda. Na tulipatana tayari hata sasa tunapanga kupelekana kwa wazazi. Nilifika hapo namwambia nipeleke hoteli ile nzuri kabisa. Akanipeleka. Utakunywa nini anasema sitakunywa. Mimi nikaagizia China tea. Siku hizo ina sifa. Na ulizo unataka kikombe ya birika sema nilete birika. I say Nanywa namwambia ile mpango yetu namna gani? Ananiambia nilipeleka mtu mwingine nyumbani. Ah. Nikamuuliza na ulijua nitakuja leo. Eh. Na mbona usiniambie basi hata nsije? Hii maneno yako. Sauti kaniambia alipeleka mtu. Murukie ujifanye na mbusu. Umngata shafu na ulimeze liwe tumboni kwako. Yaani najaribu kuenua kikombe hivi ninywe chai inanishinda viungo vimelegea. Ah. Namwambia nasikia huyu leo nitamfanya kitu. Huyu Huyu msichana alinifanya mahesabu yake namna gani? Nikamwambia basi nikalipa kule nikamwambia nipeleke stage. Nikalipeleka, napita kwa magari, napigiwa break. Maana navuka bila hata kuangalia. Mwambia ulipewa license ya kugonga watu, unge ngonga ukajua, umegonga nani. <laughs> Niko frustrated kabisa. Nikaenda kaingia kwa gari na muziki. Kaambia simeni muziki wenu. Siku ingia umu kwa ajili ya mziki. Wakazima kisha nika toka. Nika ingia ingini. Nika toka, nika ingia ya tatu. Ukajwa jamaa na usa simu zake ya. Simu simu hii, nika kamata yeye. Wewe hunioni na simu wapa wansumbua. Wachua natoka wapi. Haka toka mbio. Niko frustrated kabisa. Lakini njiani, Yesu wa lilipoi. Mana tulikuwa nituje tufa. Nilipopanda ile gari nikailipia na nikamwambia speed haikuwe kwa 180 kwa show. Na mimi naenda panda ndege Nairobi. So naenda 180 hapa. Nimekaa na driver namwambia hapa kama hutaki kupeleka nipishe mimi mwenyewe. Na sijui hata kupeleka baskili siku hizo. Bwana akanitokelezea, akanihuisha na akanipona. So huyu namwambia wiki mbili bwana. Sitaki ile frustration kama ile. Sitaki kama wa filisti wameziba ama wameshindania kile kisima cha kwanza usifedheheke chimba chengine wakija cha pili usifedheheke chimba chengine paka upate kile cha maji matam yale maji yalikuwa si yako na hayakuwa matam waachie wanaotaka kunywa maji hayo utapata maji matam Wao wanachukia visima vyote. Nimesaidia binti hapo. Alikwazwa ni mtu mmoja basi yeye anafikiria man wa ndugu wote wako hivyo. Hawako hivyo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Iko sheria. Inayofanya kazi ndani ya mtu yeyote. A 
anapookoka ajisubmit mwenyewe kwa moja wapo ya hiyo sheria ili aone uweza wa Mungu ndani ya maisha yake Warumi nane Warumi sura ya nane Biblia inasema Mstari wa kwanza There is therefore no no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus Alafu anaongea kipengele chengine kama kuna ngekuwa ni ya Kiswahili hapo ingekuwa mzuri zaidi anaongea chengine hapo akisema those who walk not after not after the flesh but after the spirit japo wasomi wa theolojia wanasema statement hiyo ni marudio lakini mimi kivyangu nasema si marudio ni clarification wao kama wamesoma na sisi hatusomi wanasema hii statement ya kusema kwamba who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit ni marudio because if you are in Christ Jesus you are expected not to walk after the flesh lakini ukweli wa mambo wako watu kanisani ambao wameokoka na bado wanatembea katika mwili wanakuwa dictated na hisia zao ndio maana hawatoi mafungu yao ya kumi wakati wamebanwa kipesa wanafuata hisia zao tunawaita sense knowledge believers mustari wa pili anasema for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus had made me free from the law of sin and death maana sheria ya roho wa uzima aliye ndani ya Kristo Yesu imeniweka huru mbali na sheria ya mauti na dhambi sasa hii sheria iliyo ndani ya Yesu ambayo ni sheria ya roho wa uzima it a super natural law ni sheria ambayo iko zaidi ya hisia ya hali ya kibinadamu hiyo sheria hiyo wakati unapoje submit kwa sheria ya roho wa uzima iliyo ndani ya Yesu Kristo sasa wachochea ile nguvu iliyo ndani mwako ambayo Paulo anaitaja kwa Waefeso 3:20 20 anasema and to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or we think according to the power that worketh in us kwa ke yeye awezai kufanya yale mambo ya ajabu ya kutisha makubwa mno kuliko yale tuombayo ama yale tuwasayo ama yale ambayo tungefanya lolote kwa uweza eh, kwa uweza ulio ndani mwetu huweza uko ndani mwako kila mtu aliyeka hapa kila aliyelikiri jina la Yesu ndani yake kuna uweza na uweza huu ni uweza wa kiungu Huu ndio uweza mbao mashetani hawatuwezi Huu ndio uweza mbao Paulo anaongea katika Waefeso sura ya kwanza 18 macho yenu yatiwe nuru ili muweze kuelewa zile ngivi na lile tumaini ambalo mliitiwa linalokaa ndani ya Yesu Kristo kwa wateule wote liko ngivi ndani ya Yesu Kristo uweza wa kiungu 
Roho hebu sikia. Wewe nataka unisikilize. Warumi nane moja Inasema iwapo roho yule aliyemtoa Yesu katika wafu anakaa ndani mwenu. Roho huyo huyo atahuisha tena mili yenu iwe hai kwa ajili yake. Mtu aseme amen. Ipo nguvu ndani yako. Haiwezi kazuiliwa Utanaswa na mashetani Na utatoka mzima Nika mhubiri Yesu Nika mhubiri Yesu Wazomba wakasema hatutaki kusikia kigodi Akilani majini Biashara setu zinaharibika Wakanifata e, Grupu kubwa Wakaniambia bana bebe Unajua majini ni viumbe vya mnyazi mungu Vili umbe kwa moto mkali Kuna majini babaya Lakini kuna wale majini ambao wanatusaidia kutajirika Sasa bebe bana ukisimama pale Na unayalani tu unayachanganya yote Mabaya na mazuri Honi unatuharibia Nikawambia majini na juwa ni mashetani. Kwenu ni mazuri, kwangu ni mabaya. Kwa hivyo kama kwenu ni marafiki yenu, kwangu mi ni madui. Nikialani, biashara zinahanga, zinaharibika. Wakanipangia mkakati. Ni malisu. Siku moja ni mepanga crusade na wakasema haitafanyika. Mgeni alikuwa nakuja hubiri. Nikawa naenda kumchukulia taxi. Ufika stage. Nasikia ndiyo huyo, ndiyo huyo Ndiyo huyo Kumbe ni mimi, nasikiria ni mwisi Wakani singira Na mawe Na magongo Wakani tusi Ukaji askari wa wili Wakita kunriski wakapigwa Wakasema mtuwe ni nguo Mtuwe ni tomo unyesha uyo Najifanyi mwena ume sana uyo Yani wali ni ongeleshi Sauti kaniambia Usipo ongea, wana kunasa Nikasema touch not the anointed And do no harm to my prophet It is written Nimesingiru Sijui niende wapi Lakini najua hawa nifanyi kitu Leo Naandali wa ushuhuda Hapa sifanyi kitu Hapa Jamali moja la misuli Limevimba Kwa kwenu wa viuma na mawe Likasema mna mchelewesha Ngekuwa sahime mlasa chini Nimesongwa paka nimelemea kataksika moja hivi. Wame nisingira pali. Jamaa kapewa njia aje. Akaja alipofika pali kumbele taksini yake. Akafungua, haka nisukuma ndani. Haka ingia, haka kinyaga mafu. Karibu tukinyage watu. Mbio tuwaundoka. Sasa mimi, na, na, nimeka kimia kama kondoa pelekwae machinjoni. Mana hata sijui, ni buwana, sijui, ni pepo. Nasema, lakina jua tu, nimesema tayari. Touch not the anointed. And do no harm to my prophet. Haka nikeukia, haka nibia, pastor waenda wapi. Kama nibia likuwa naenda kwangu. Asema wajinga sana wale. Wewe pastor wetu. Tusi waruhusu wale. Na wakikugusa tena niambie mimi Nitaoga na izi hapa tutachoma choma mali zao sote Akage uzagari haka nipeleka kwa nkunyumbani Kwe na yaje wewe Kwe na ugopa hata jongo wewe ni yaje wewe Ile ngufu ilionda ni mwako yote alafu ugope fidudu Wewe na mnagani Hallelujah Na wakun fanya kitu Touch not the anointed And do no harm to my prophet On yet is written Basi, nika nyamasi. Mwana nimesikia sauti kiniambi. Usipo ungea, anakumalisi. Iko nguvu ndani mwako. Sema amen. Mimi nikiangalia hivi, naona majitu ya kike na ya kiume. Yalioka hapa. Hambayo ya mekuja ili ya chochewe. Ili ya elewe. Hangalia hii, bibili inasema. Hii warumi nane kumina moja. By the spirit of him that reason raised Jesus from the dead and dwells in you. He that raised Jesus from the dead shall quicken your mortal bodies. Shall quicken your minds. Shall quicken your emotions. Shall quicken. Atahuisha akili yako. Unakuwa na supernatural ability. Supernatural thoughts. Mawaso ya kiungo. Hayo ndiyo ananifanya ni kiubiri kama hivi. Hamama kama yule ya kiubiri kama hapa. Na undoka na pointi moja ni kitabu ichu. Iyo ni kitabu. Waka mke wangu wakawa hanielewe. Mana nenda kulala dakambili, imenuka. 
Tunambia leo una shida gani? Umwambia si shida. Ni revelation. Inakuwa dropped. Ikiwa dropped usipoeandika inachukuliwa. Nguvu yoyote, ufunuo wote ukipawa uone endelea kujinyosha kwa blanket. Ah, nitaandika asubuhi. Si hata wewe ulipewa hata wimbo na hukuandika. Hivi unaujua ni gani? Sulienda na mwenyewe aliyekupatia. Anambia ele utalala. Nikamwambia kuna siku za kulala. Kuna siku za revelation. Kwa hivyo, kuna siku zile ambazo utalala hapa hapo hapo hata kuomba nitashindwa. Maana mwili umechoka na ni lazima nilale. Na hiyo ndio wakati wa mafunuo pia. Ndio unaota anakosa jambo. Ah, pokea mko na mwambia mkeo. E umeota. Hata siku hizi tunaota ntoto za kufanana. Kweli yenyewe anaota na mimi nimeota kisha kwa mpigo yeye akikemea hivi namwambia umekatisha ndoto yangu ananiambia umeota nini namwambia nasema satani ameota hivi ah najua basi kumbe twaenda sambamba lakini sio naota unakuja Nairobi mkewe anaota anaenda Mombasa <laughs> iko shida haleluya sema ime sema ime Nguvu by applying the supernatural law submitting unajipeana kwa sheria hii ya roho wa uzima shetani amekwambia hutaolewa hiyo si lugha yako unaongea lugha ya kimbinguni unachochea ile nguvu itendayo kazi ndani mwetu Wakorinto wa kwanza sura ya tatu mstari wa tisa. Wakorinto wa kwanza sura ya tatu mstari wa tisa inasema hivi nasi tukitenda kazi pamoja naye mm? we are laborers together with him Biblia ingine inasema we are fellow laborers nikawa na study the word fellow Mbona Biblia inasema mimi ni fellow na Mungu he, God is my fellow hii fellow manake ni hiyo siku hata siku lala Nilipojijua hivyo hivi kastadi mwenyewe katikue dictionary tu angalia hili word fellow na biblia inasema we are fellow laborers fellow workers with god ni kwamba mungu ana kitu anakufanyia na wewe unaongezea kukifanya kwa kukiri kile anachokifanya ndani mwako paka kikamilike kifikie vile utakatifu ile character ile nature divine nature ile ya kiungu inakuwa ndani mwako yani hushawishiwi na vitu unaviona unashawishiwa na vitu vya rohoni hushawishiwi na vitu unavyohisi unashawishiwa mimi huwafundisha watu hili nikamwambia healing haiji wakati ugonjwa ndio umeondoka maumivu yametoweka nikupa ushuhuda wangu wa mwisho tumalize 1979 nikashikwa ni ugonjwa wa figo mbaya nikaenda msambweni district hospital tulikuwa tunaishi Shimba Hills wakati huo tulihama mashamba yetu kwa sababu ya mambo yale ya tumin tumin so mimi niko kilifi na wale ndugu zangu wengine kila mmoja uko kwake wazazi wetu waliaga zamani nikaenda nikapimwa na daktari akaniambia nahitajika kwenda fanywa transplanting ya figo india wakati krismasi tunaiselebrate na maembe ya kwenda tunda maporini ama muhogo tulioenda omba na panya tumechimba panya wetu tunalikuwa na paka tunamuita kiroboto ambaye anajua kutushikia panya hivi tukienda winda na yeye tukiwachimba tunamweka hapa tunamwambia aka hapa panya wanastaili zao huchimba mashimo alafu wakatoboa mahali kidogo hapo ni wakiguswa huko watoke na kule sasa si tunaenda tuna search pale tunajua hiyo hapa ndio pa kutokea namwambia viroboto hayaketi hapa si tunachimba watoke hata kama ni kumi wanalazwa ni kiroboto tutampatia mmoja wale wengine tunakula christmas hapa daktari ananiambia nichange niende india mimi na nashikiwa na, na panya ni viroboto naenda india nani atasaidia huko kwenda mombasa kwenyewe ni mashaka ni daktari anaelewa nikaenda katafuta kitabu cha marehemu tl osborn mavuno ya java nikasoma nikakwazika nikapiga magoti nikamwambia mungu 
Nilisikia imesemwa kwamba huna wivu lakini mimi nataka. Niingie mahakamani leo niingie kwa kizimba nijitete nikwambie una wivu. Nasikia hayo maombi. Nikamwambia na sababu za kusema wewe unapendelea watu ni hizi. Yule jamaa jirani yetu pale ni mukora wa kuvuta bangi, ni mukora wa kubaka watu. Angekuwa anauma ni figo hangeyafanya hayo. Haumu yeye mimi niliyejitunza tunza ndi minafa. Paka anaenda ambiwa niende India. Nikamwambia Mungu, sasa maana mimi najua wewe una uweza wa yote usinitese ni uwe sasa na lala hapa na niondoke kabisa nikajilaz nasikia nikasikia mtu anatembea na kuja mimi sikushughulika nilikuwa nafikiria maana kwanza hakukuwa na mtu pale nyumbani na yeye sikushughulika na umwa ile mbaya akaja akaketi pale kwa kitanda kwa figo nikasema kwa niketi mtu hapa na simuone kafanya hivi ni mgusi si mgusi ah. vitanda vile vya kamba so na nimkeka tu hakuna madresi nikainuka na nini nikasongea nikaketi nikamsikia tena ameinuka na nini kwa figo ah. ah. nikaniusha mkono hivi si mgusi nikauliza huyu jamaa ama ndiye amekuja chukua roho basi anafikiri achukuliwa bure bure hivi na pato kambio hapa hata ataipatia huko mbali si hapa Nikitaka kuenuka hivi akaweka mkono hapa kwa figo. Akaniambia nikasikia kabisa sikumuona kwa macho lakini akaniambia nimesikia maombi yako. Ndio maana nimekuja kukuponya. Akaondoka nikamsikia anaondoka. Huyo akaenda sasa. Maumivu ya figo hayakuniacha siku hiyo wala siku iliyofuatia wala siku iliyofuatia hata wiki mo, mbili karibu wiki tatu ndio nilipata perfect hill lakini kilichotendeka ni hiki ndio nakupa siri ya uponyaji ni ule ushawishi wa ndani kwamba nimepona hata japo nasikia naumwa hiyo ni uongo mimi nimepona sasa nikafanyaje maana ninashawishika beyond doubt kwamba nimepona na mimi nilikuwa mwana kandanda na hapa naumwa nasema nakupeleka mpirani ili ujue nimepona. Nikaenda cheza mpira. Nikarudi siku lala nikamwambia bure aliniambia nimepona. Sikubali chengine tena. Nikaisho mpirani. Hiyo kitu ilienda sijaumwa ni figo tena paka kesho kutwa. Kama mpigie bwana Yesu makofi mazuri. Neno hili kama halileti ushawishi ndani mwako hata nikakuombea ni bure. Neno hili kama halileti nguvu zikakushuhudia ndani mwako kwamba wewe umepona, umepokea, umushindi ni shujaa. Wewe si yule wa kushindwa na dunia. Inakuwa bure. Simama kwa miguu yako kwa jina la Yesu aliye hai nguvu ya Mungu ndio uzima wetu roho wa Mungu ndiye uzima wetu yeye ndiye anayefanya yote kwa mapya nasikia sauti ikisema na yafanya yote kwa mapya kuna watu hapa mmeonewa na mashetani na magonjwa mmeonewa kazi ni mwenu mmeonewa mmeonewa tu moja nikawa nahubiri wazomba wakaenda wakan report na piga kelele kwa hivyo dio akaja dio ambaye alikuwa karibu tu na DC dio one akaja na barua anizuie niambia unapiga kelele sana nikamwambia ulikuwa unanisikia ukiwa kwako ofisini hao watu wanalalamika wako wapi hao wanalalamika na Isaya anaambia mpige kelele siache anasema unajua naweza nikachukua hiyo permit yako nikamwambia kwa nahubiri kwa sababu ya permit wale wanaotoa mimba ndio wanawapatia permit wanaologa huko ndio wanawapa permit na hubiri maana mimi mhubiri so ile karatasi ndio hii kama unataka chukua karatasi yako na injili inaendelea hey. kaniambia njoo kesho ofisini nataka kukuona kama yeye anataka kuja kaenda ofisini 
na asubuhi bwana mfagiaje anafagia mimi na basai katwabo shandrole kadu bahazu de hapa location madaka luko mzai teka luzi mojibu zaka yata haluki mazai alipoingia DC nikamwambia hujambo bwana DC ulikuwa unaniambia nini jana ili ujue kwamba mimi ni mtu wa Mungu nimekupatia siku sita za kujipanga siku ya saba kitu kinakutendekea utahama hiyo ofisi katoka nikaenda zake alivimba miguu alishikwa na elephant yasis kwanza dakika hiyo akavimba miguu ijumaa alikuja akiwa amejifunga shuka hawezi kufa suruani kwa ofisi wewe namna gani wewe unaongea vitu vya ajabu ajabu ndio maana umekuwa wa ajabu ajabu ongea vitu vikutendekee upate space katika ulimwengu wa kiroho watu wanakufinya finya hivi ongea paka watu waseme huyo si wakufuatwa namna hiyo huyo si unapata space the bible says you reign with the Christ Jesus in the realm of the spirit anasema wale waliopokea eh, katika warumi 5:17 wale waliopokea neema na karama ya haki na hasemi neema tu they abundant grace and the gift of righteousness they reign in this life with the Christ Jesus lazima uelewe wewe ni wakutawala yani kutawala sio kuhamishwa kule ni majini wewe ndio ukatafute nyumba nyingine hapana mimi nyumbani kwangu pale lipojenga kitala na pajua nimepakana nimepa na wachawi saba ndio majirani wezi hata ukaomba chumvi kwao hata hamsalimiani maana ni mizinga kwa mizinga wao wanarusha nami narusha wao wakirusha na wao menarusha paka mwishoenka sema sasa na decree hamuishi tena nikafanyaje unajua nikaamka usiku amerusha mzinga nimechoka saa saba nikatoka nikaenda kwa mlango mmoja nikasema natangasa pamba mambo yako kisha nikaenda kwa yule mwingine leo natangasa hapa ndi mina miliki nikatoka nikaenda kwa yule mwingine leo natangasa eneo hili halitatawalwa ni wachawi wamekufa mmoja mmoja hivi mmoja mmoja hivi nimebakia na wawili wamekufa wakifuatana mmoja alirusha misa hivi nikasimama nikamwambia sitaki nisikie sauti yako tena akaanguka boom tukasika huyu mke wake akachukua mkoba nikamnenea akaenda kuna watu wasipondoka njiani hupiti na kuambia hupiti wengine hawataokoka ni wa kuondoke wa kuokoka wa okoke wale wa kuondoka wa kuondoke hiyo injili hata kama huitaki na kuambia haleluya nguvu ya Mungu ndiyo usima wetu Kivi ya Mungu ndiyo fuzima wetu. Roho hapana ndiyo usima wetu. Neno la Bwana ndiyo usima wetu. Kwa neno hili tunamiliki. Kwa roho huyu tunamiliki. Tutawala pamoja na Jehova. Majini atatufanya nini? Wachawi watatufanya. Daudi akasema Bwana ni mchungaji wangu. Sitapungukiwa. Sipungukiwi na afya. Sipungukiwi na pesa. Sipungukiwi na mawazo mazuri. Sipungukiwi na furaha. Sipungukiwi na raha ya ndoa sipongo kiwi maana bwana ndiye mchungaji wangu haleluya wesa wa bwana ukuchie wewe kansa ya matiti anza kufa kwa jina la Yesu funika macho yako na mikono yako chie na nene ya uvimbe ulio ndani mwako Nasema funika macho yako na inua mikono yako ule uvimbe ambao daktari amesema hawezi ukatoka mimi nasema wewe uvimbe nisikie neno la Bwana sikia neno la Bwana ufukara usiokuwa wa kawaida kupata kazi na kufutwa kimaundevi kila kazi ya shetani katika china la Yesu aliye hai kila ngivi yetu katika china la Yesu aliye hai toka ndani ya mili yao toka ndani ya viungo vyao fungua kinywa chako mshukuru bwana fungua kinywa chako mshukuru bwana 
Nasema mshikiri bwana fungua kinywa chako mshikiri bwana mtu In the name of Jesus In the name of Jesus In the name of Jesus Watch out to give for bwana ukuchie Na ikanso ile kesi kule mahakamani na murisha ule hakimu achanganyikiwe na akupe haki yako kwa jina la Yesu na kanso ile kesi na kanso wewe ulichukua tenda lakini sasa haulipi kazi umefanya lakini kila ukiendo naambiwa serikali ya county serikali ya county na inene ya leo serikali ya county achili hiyo pesa katika china la yesu uwewe shetani one waone wate ule uwewe chini uwewe pepo toka mlima kenya ibilisi na shetani sikia neno la bwana achili Hachili Hachili ya mali yetu Haki yetu Hachili ya Kwa mamlaka ya Jehova Na kwa afisi ya mbayo Na ifanyi ya kazi Ya melki sedeka Na kwa mamulaka Ya neno la milele Leo hii Na leta usima Na leta uponyache Na leta afya Na leta amani Wasiolewa Wapate waume Wanaotaka wake Wapate wake Wanaotaka nyumba Wakachenge nyumba Wanaotaka makar wanunue makar na yaachilia katika ulimengu wa rohe na yaachilia na yaachilia poke andugi yangu in the name of Jesus let the power of God touch your life now minister to your life minister to your life right now we will be near Ndeza Wasta hili sifa Mwana kondo Enze ni Na kwa kowe Tua ini wa sifa Mwana kondo Enze ni Wewe wafe Wastahili sifa Mwana kende Enzini Na kwa kowe Kwa ini ya sifa Mwana kondo Enzini Enu wa mikono yako wime pamoja nani Wewe wafe mikono yako poke baraka hizi Bwana akutangulie katika njia uiende nayo Bwana awe adui ya adui yako Bwana akupe mawazo ya kiungu ya kufanya biashara yako Bwana kuinue kupita jamaa zako wote Bwana aifanye njia yako kuwa yenye raha na kila kilichozuiliwa mwaka huu itakipata kabla ya kuvuka mwaka uchao na uwe shujaa akuongoze katika nchi ilionenepa okay katika ukuu wake bwana alikumbuke agano lake na litimize maisha ni mwako pigie bwana yesu makofi pigie